mankind is starting to wake up and some of us know by now that there is a real enemy within on all key positions who transmit to each other secret messages through secret codes, numbers and secret symbols. For showing these symbols to you, I went to prison several times and got severely tortured. And last year, 2015, when I was getting out of prison once more, with a very bad health, not being able to make any more videos. In November, this secret message was delivered by them and amongst them, and it was delivered in the subway of New York, one of the biggest and most important metropoles in the world, making sure many people would hear from it and see it, through the deliberate scandal ignited by it. It must therefore have been a very important message and not to be missed. Even I was shocked when I saw their message and the implications of it. And for the first time I could read their message, Octogon Nazi Templar, visible for all who understand. The terrible message is holding the biggest threat to mankind ever in the history of man on earth. It said, Pharaoh in the Alps and the Nazi Templars of Octogon will wage war on mankind to defend Pharaoh's United Kingdom of Switzerland. I repeat, Pharaoh in the Alps and the Nazi Templars of Octogon will wage war against mankind to defend Pharaoh's United Kingdom of Switzerland. The United Kingdom of Switzerland is also called a confederacy, CH, Confederatio Helvetica. And I don't know when the war will start because I'm just an old historian and don't know anything of secret numbers and their hidden secret codes within. But I'm sure the date is hidden in the numbers somewhere, so I need the help of someone who knows Gematria or numerology to help us decipher the encrypted code. And I think this threat is imminent due to the size by which they have presented this message. The big bird is of course Der Reichsadler or Nazi eagle and symbolizes the Nazis. Yeah, there it is. And underneath it has the sign of the Templars. Yeah, sign of the Templars. So in the image it reads Nazi Templar. It really shocked me because these people must know that the Nazis were in fact the Templars, experiencing the first time to see the encrypted message actually saying Nazi Templar on such a big scale. So it must be very important to them. It even refers to Octogon too, when counting the eight leaves around the Templar's cross, as the line drawn around the Swiss cross or the Templar's cross as shown in my video, Octogon, the Empire of Darkness. Here you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight leaves. Octogon. So it really says altogether the bird Nazi, the Templar sign, it says Nazi Templars of Octogon. So it actually reads altogether the Nazi Templars of Octogon. They left their mark and imprint in the signature here. Then the blue collar underneath represents the blue war crown of Pharaoh. There's a call for war. The red and white represents the United Kingdom of Pharaoh, of the Red House and the White House. And their biggest base, Switzerland, the Octogon in the Alps. I'll explain that in this video here about the Pharaonic houses, crowns and collars used by today's Freemasons to transmit their secret messages. So it's on the same channel, this film here, and here it says the war crown. So they've got the white house here, the red house, and here's the blue house, or the blue crown, as the collar under the symbol of the Nazi Templars of Octagon in the New York 
uh, metro, the color of the war crown. This message in the New York Underground was given under cover of a TV series called The Man in the High Castle. Now, what kind of man usually lives in the High Castle? Well, the king of course, and as I've explained to you in my video Fairistocracy, all kings are of pharaonic descent. And where are the high castles? Well, in Octagon, Switzerland, of course. And this high castle here is in Sion, as in the, the uh, Priory of Sion, La Priori de Sion. So the title, The Man in the High Castle, refers to Pharaoh's biggest base, Switzerland. See my video, The Pharaoh Show, for more. And here's another man in a high castle. I remember in my film about Ian Fleming how occult it all is behind the 007 series. And, and here's another high castle where a man, there was a man in the high castle. This is Hitler's eagle's nest. And this is octagon, this is octagonal. And it relates very well to the, um, the New York subway, what they did with it, with all those na temp Nazi Templar symbols. Now, who is behind this all? The film was made by the Amazon company. And if I translate A, ah, Maz, On, into the demotic pharaonic, I get pregnant for A, Big Journey for Maz, and Osiris for On. Pregnant, Big Journey, Osiris, or the reincarnation of Osiris after a big journey of the soul, I suppose. And Osiris, together with Set, are pharaonic gods of the underworld, with Set, or Seton, referring to Satan. Just as the Freemasons have Jabulon, sounding like Diabolo, Jabulon, or Diable, the devil. Well, you might wonder how many devils these guys worship, actually. Jabulon, Diabolo, of the Freemasons, the pharaohs. I explain in this video here that WWW is in fact 666. So Amazon is a real 666 company entirely selling through the WWW internet and trying to swallow up all other small shops. So in the end, we, ha we only have the WWW666 shop left that in the end will try to enforce certain membership only measures upon their clientele by a certain company marking. One-eyed maybe, as in the Quran, that devil or Dajjal is a one-eyed man. And yes, the owner of Amazon is a Phi Beta Kappa Freemason. Also invited to the Bilderberger conferences in 2011, St. Moritz, Switzerland. And as a Bilderberger, Freemason, Swiss-loving Nazi, it comes without, with no surprise that Amazon's Jeff Bezos sells child molester manuals entitled The Pedophile's Guide to Love and Pleasure, A Child Lover's Code of Conduct. There he is, Mr. Bezos of Amazon. Bezos, a Spanish name, and that means a kiss. I don't want to know what kind of kiss. His mother may be an Amazon, keeping her son away from his real father. So he could better serve the Sisters of Isis and the Horus Matrix of reshaping man. Not anymore after the image of God, but after the Horus Isis model and to pre prepare him for a mighty function. 
just as Bill Clinton, Barack Obama, Steve Jobs, John Lennon, etc., weren't brought up by their fathers and didn't even know their real fathers. Powerful men to serve ISIS, the Amazons and the sisters of ISIS, with the fathers eradicated, not having any influence on the education of their sons, into the indoctrination shaping for ISIS. Therefore, Obama and Clinton for gun control, as the sisters of ISIS and the Amazons don't want a man being able to defend himself, like against more and more homos of the Horus Matrix in police uniforms of this very organized ISIS gang with octagon badges. Jeff Bezos is the owner of Amazon, the man behind the Nazi Templar film, and one of the richest men in the world. He lives in Beverly Hills at the Alpine Drive. Well, what else? Alpine Drive. The Alpine Drive. His Amazon company sells I Love Hitler, I Love Himmler, and I Love Heidrich t shirts. Sells pro Nazi books, manuals and other Nazi propaganda. And the title song, the soundtrack of the Nazi Templar film, The Man in the High Castle, is called Edelweiss. The symbol of pure Nazism. And Switzerland's symbol of a clean, neutral, and always innocent octagon in the Alps. Any more questions? In Germany you don't see this anymore, but in Switzerland they show it everywhere to let you know they don't like immigrants, as 99% of the Swiss population does so. This image was done December 2015 by the Swiss SVP Nazi Party asking the Swiss to send their best Edelweiss picture. That's Edelweiss in Swiss German. I can't see the damn flower anymore. It has a Swiss Nazi smell on it. Eh, Mr. Jeff Bezos, the Swiss man in the high castle? Amazon's Jeff Bezos, real name Jorgensen, doesn't want to pay taxes which is another link to Switzerland, most certainly helping him via Swiss banks in Qatar and the Arab Emirates to tax evade from the American people under certain Swiss conditions. Like showing Octagon's Nazi Templars in the New York subway. And what a typical sneaky Swiss thing to do, put that Nazi Templar stuff in the metro and then just say Oh, it's just for some film. And pretended to be harmless and an expression of art, blaming it on cinematography. The subliminal Nazi Templar message of New York also transmits that the Germans and the Europeans as a whole lost the war. But the Nazi Templars of Octagon, Switzerland have won the Second World War leading into their thousand-year Third Reich of the New World Order Freemasons and political branch of the Nazi Templars. After their first thousand-year Reich of ancient Egypt and their second thousand-year Reich of the Roman Empire, now the third thousand-year Reich still going on. It never ended after 1945, and here you can see the result of it. Yes, this is the way how Pharaoh Swissy, the man in the high castle, works through deception. Camouflaged by clean neutrality swindle and a misleading smile, or a Swiss Obama teardrop, while spreading their secret messages in the New York metro, for the initiated to mobilize Octagon 
and the Nazi Templars for their final attack on humanity.